If you cut the branch you're sitting on, you will fall down. Assume you are sitting on a branch and you have an axe or a sharp tool like a machete and cut that branch, you will fall because you are cutting a branch you are sitting on. There is no way you can cut a branch you are sitting on and you will not, you fail not to fall. Every moment you cut a branch you are sitting on, you will fail down, you will fall down. That is a fact you cannot escape. That is a fact you cannot escape. This is an edification message. This is an inspiration message. This is a motivational message. This is a building message. That you cannot cut a branch you're sitting on and keep sitting on the same. You fall down. Never cut a branch you are sitting on. And Jesus said, my people perish because they don't know. It is lack of knowledge that makes people fall down. When you don't know the law of the land, you fail because you don't know what you're supposed to do. You don't know your right. You don't know what the law says. Every country tries to educate the people about the constitution, about the law, so you know your right. You know what you're supposed to do. The Bible is a constitution. The Bible is a law like that, just like a law of the land that protects people. That if you break the law, you go to jail. If you break the law, you will be pay a fine. If you break a law the traffic rule, you pay a fine. The Bible is the law that guides us here on earth and in the next. The Bible has everything that gives us direction, whether marriage, whether job, whether family, whether life in this world, whether living with the people. The Bible has stipulated the constitution of the Bible, say everything we are supposed to do. If it's marriage, it say how you're supposed to be. Even in marriage, the Bible says even when you fast, don't stay away from each other. In sexual relationship, in the book of Corinthians. Otherwise, you'll be tested by the devil. Even when you are fasting, don't fast for long about sexual relationship. You will fall. The Satan will test you. But many people and many parents and many women or husbands, they fear their, their spouse. They deprive each other, even years. Some people are in the same house, deprive sexual relationship for years. What does the Bible say? Lack of knowledge. Don't deprive one another. Otherwise you fall. You'll be tested outside by the devil. Even when you fast, don't go for long. The Bible is the constitution. The Bible is the law. It is stipulate what you're supposed to live. The biblical principle of marriage. The biblical principle of work. That when you do work at work, when you work at job, it doesn't matter at kitchen, at nursing, at doctor, at teaching. Teach to, for glory of God. Do chef job, do nursing job like the boss is not there. Like the boss is there. Whether the boss is there or not, do a quality job. How many people, how many people, when the boss is not there, they go for a break. They drag down. They don't do work. They don't do work as they are supposed to be. When the boss comes, they work well. The boss says they are doing well. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says work as if you are working for God. The Bible stipulates everything you are supposed to do in this world. But the Bible says, Jesus said, my people perish because they don't know. Hosea, I think, 4, 6. My people perish because they don't know. My message is, you cannot cut a branch you're sitting on and leave and not fall. You will fall. A good example, they were killing Jesus. Who came to save them? They were cutting the branch they are sitting on. 
And the Bible says in Daniel chapter 9, the anointed one will be cut off and have nothing. Jesus was cut off. And then somewhere in the Bible says he the, the, the chief shepherd will be struck, will be attacked to scatter the sheep. But they don't know to, to make them fall. The shepherd of the sheep will be destroyed, will be stuck, like Jesus was killed, buried, killed, to make sure Christian fall. And who are cutting the branches? Who are killing Jesus? The people who know God, the people who know the Bible, the people who knew the Bible, the teachers of the law, the Pharisees, they pretended they knew the Bible, they didn't know. They were using the mind, their own mind. They were using their own brain, reasoning, theological knowledge, without the spirit of God. Many people go to theology. I had my chaplain in Egerton University who was so much a lot of theology. He knew how to preach so powerfully. So he used to bring the word because he had a, 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 a doctor in theology. The Pharisees were using such knowledge, theological knowledge. They knew the word of God using, they were using theological knowledge without the spirit of God. They killed Jesus who was their savior. They were cutting the blood they were sitting on, they fell. The Bible says in John chapter 1, Jesus came for his people, but they didn't see him. They didn't even know he's their savior. They didn't even know that this is our Messiah. This is our savior. We are protected through this man. We are safe through this man. We have peace through this man. We have sense of belonging through this son of man. We have life that is complete through Jesus. We have life that have meaningful life. We have a life with meaning when we have Jesus. We have a life that makes sense when we have Jesus. There's somebody who sings the song. I think it's Israel Houston. He said, Jesus, you are the cup that never ran dry. When Israel Houston was singing that song, your presence is heaven to me. That you are the cup that never ran dry. He must be going, he must be, have been failed. Many people sing out of what they, God have passed them through. And they realize it's only God that does not land dry. And the Bible says in Jeremiah 17 that the cup of Jesus never land dry. Se Jeremiah 17 verse 7 to 8. The cup of Jesus will never land dry. If you stay with Jesus, you will never be stressful. You will never live a life without meaningful life. Whether you have your children or not, whether you have a wife or not, whether your marriage is broken or not, Jesus, you will never make you land dry. When Joseph was sold to Egypt, the intention was to make him dry. The intention was to cut him off. The Bible says in Daniel 11, in the last days, the anointed one will be cut off. Just like Joseph was cut off. Jesus was cut off from the main branch. Joseph was cut off from the main branch. They were cut off to fail them. The intention is to fail them. The intention is to make them dry. But the Bible say in Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon for sure will prosper. Anything, the Bible say everything works together for good for they that love Jesus. While Joseph was programmed to fail and be a slave and to stop his potential and mission and the, 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 the calling to be a, a dreamer and interpreting dream and working for Jesus, the intention was to fail him. The intention was to make sure this mission, this calling will stop it. But God made sure his cup never ran dry. He had meaningful life. He was put in jail. He had meaningful life. He was falsely accused. He had meaningful life. Because the cup of Jesus never ran dry. Israel Wilson said in his song, your presence is heaven to me. You are cup. Jesus, you are the cup that never ran dry. The Bible says so in Jeremiah 17, verse 7 to 8, that your cup never ran dry. It also says in Psalm chapter 1, 
The cup of Jesus never ran dry. Those who depend on God, those who meditate on the word of God, Psalm chapter 1, they'll be like a stream. Our, river, our tree plants in the riverside. Whether it's dry season, or hot season, or rainy season, that tree will always be green. The same repeated in Jeremiah 17, verse 7 to 8. That person who trusts in God and not men, the person who trusts in God and not their husband, the person who put trust on God to give them happiness, not their wife, not their children. Children have failed their parents. Parents have failed their children. Husband have failed their wife. Wife have failed their husband. President has said his deputy. Politician, they say, support me. I will support you next time. They fear him. When he still reaches his time, he support other people. Many people, there is nobody. Children, siblings have failed their, their own sibling. Joseph sibling, they fear him. And this is why Jesus was saying in Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8, that if you trust in me, you will never be dry. But if you read Jeremiah 17, 5 to 6, if you trust in people, if you trust in your wife, if you trust in your children, if you trust in your parents, if you trust in your, in your president, that he will give you, he will give you support next, you will be failed. So you trust in God. If you think you will have meaning right through your wife, through your husband, when you marry, you will be fair so you believe in God. You know it's God only can give you happiness. Can give you, it's only Jesus who will never fail you. Jesus never fail. The people of the world will fail you, but Jesus will never fail you. The Bible says clearly. In Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8, and, and Psalm chapter 1. You will never run dry if you follow Jesus. If you believe in Jesus. They were cutting, blanched, blanched that they were sitting on. Cutting the branch you are sitting on, you will fall. Many people have failed their marriages thinking they will be happy. But the Bible says in Hebrews, your marriage bed is blessed through your husband. Whether your husband is Christian or not, and you married the husband and he was not a Christian, you are blessed through that husband. You are blessed through that wife. You will fall because you are cutting a branch you are sitting on. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews that your marriage bed is holy. Through that person, you are putting in the bin. You are blessed that way. They killed Jesus who, they, who came to save them. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 that God, Jesus came for his people. He came to make sure they have ultimate peace. Antichrist will give people false peace. And he will wait people. When you feel secure, he attack you again. Because he's not a true Messiah. He's just giving you a, a fake peace. Jesus was coming to give them ultimate peace. They didn't see. Jesus was coming to give them meaningful life. They, they didn't see Jesus. In fact, they were seeing Barnabas, who was a thief. Save Barnabas. Kill the, our branch. Cut this branch we are sitting on. They fell. The Bible says in Romans 9.33, that name Jesus, that name Jesus, this just the stone, the beauty rejected. That name Jesus will make them stumble. Whenever they cut off Jesus, they will stumble till they come back to him. Till they have my number come back. They stumbled when they worship Baal. So that during Mount Kame contest, they can come back to God. The Bible says in Romans 9 33, that name Jesus that you used to cheat. That you use to kill your husband, that you use to kill your marriage, that name Jesus, that you use to make somebody love you, that name Jesus, that name Jesus, that you went to church and get somebody ready, and when you got the ready, you started drinking, you started smoking, 
you started going with other women and married other people. That name Jesus you used to cheat will make you fall until you come back to God. That name Jesus that made you to go to abroad. You fasted. You went to Karura Forest to fast. You went to forest to fast. You went to Aboretum and fasted and prayed to get a visa to go to Australia, to go to London, to get to America, to go to Canada. And when you reach Canada, you started drinking. When you reach Canada, you started smoking. When you reach Canada, you stop worshiping God. That name, Jesus, that made you to go to Canada will make you fall until you come back to God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 9, God will bring Jesus to this house of Israel. Those people who thought they are. God will raise people you didn't expect. When they see them preaching, they say, you are mad. You are sick. Go to hospital. Because God will raise people you do not expect, so you repent. The people who are called Gentiles were made saints, so that through saints, they can feel jealousy and come back to God. So many people say, I will stop this church because you think you are so talented. You are the only one who can sing and bring anointing. And the Bible says, Satan fell because he said, I am the only one who make glory in the kingdom of God. Revelation 12. I will be God. And he fell. Pride came before fall. Many people have fallen because they think they are so talented. I will stop this church. I will not go to church again. And so that this church can fall. Because they are not doing what I'm saying. But God said, the moment you go away, God will raise people you don't respect. So you come back to God. You are cutting the branch that you are sitting on. You are given a talent to worship God, as the book of Corinthians says. That talent was to build the church, but you are using for your own pride. You will fall till you come to Jesus. Roman 9, 33. Roman 9, 33. You fall by that name Jesus you use to cheat. How many people cheat in the name of God? How many people cheat and take money from poor people that they are trying to cheat? Cheating innocent people using the name of God. The Bible says, Roman 9, 33, that name Jesus will make you fall. That stone will make them stumble. It will be difficult to carry it because you are cheating with using it. Many people have cheated people in marriages. Pretend they are Christian. Others even they are Christian. Like Judas was a Christian. Peter was a Christian. Woman, wife of Job was a Christian. But they were used by the devil. There are so many people who use innocent people to gain something. Other people have gone abroad to marry. The moment they get papers, even many Christians, they leave their spouse. This man doesn't think, I'm going to live alone. And why is he saying that? She has a job, she has children. When there was no children, he was following his husband everywhere he go. But when he got what he wanted, when, when before the paper came, before he got the visa, he was so good. Because he got the papers, you don't think. I don't think you are normal. But why are you here? Uh, this man, this woman, married you because you are a Christian. But the Bible says, when you are blessed, when you go to those blessed countries, the book of Deuteronomy, when you build fine houses, don't forget me. Many people forget where they are coming from. That first love is gone. I think it's the book of Revelation chapter 1. Say, the first love, the Bible says in the last days, the love of many will go backward. Why? Because of change of custom, culture, technology. The, the more the coming of Jesus is come near, the more love of many will grow cold because Satan walk in a way you don't see. He changed lifestyle, the clothing, the wear. When you see the movie, 
whatever you see in the movie, it's all. Satan doesn't know. People who are doing it, they don't know. But Satan hide. Satan hide in the movie. Satan hide in the church. Satan hide in the culture. Satan hide in the technology. When you go technology everywhere, you see people naked. There is no more. Many people, they didn't know and even see any nakedness. They stayed until they might have never seen even a, 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 a woman body or a man body. But nowadays, just you can see in the phone. But the, the technology doesn't know. The people who put the photo, they don't know. Satan hide. It's very hard. The more Jesus near, come near, people they won't see, they won't know. It will be very hard to live holy. But Satan hide, he can, Satan doesn't want to know, doesn't want you to know he exists. He hide in culture, he hide in lifestyle, he hide, he hide in the church. Antichrist will come in the church. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, Jesus will not come until not people in the club, not people in the, in the smoking or drinking, not people doing marijuana, not people taking marijuana. The Bible says Jesus will not come until true saints, true Christians leave God and fall away and refuse to accept the truth. Jesus will not come until true Christian, people of God, rebel and put the truth out of the window. Also the Bible says, I think, in the book of Peter, Jesus will not come until people of God leave worshiping God and start worshiping deceiving spirit and doctrines of demons. The, the revelation, the seven churches that Jesus was collecting, every church had a peck. Some churches were entertaining the gospel of Satan and worship of Satan. When you read even the, every church, I think when you read the church of Philadelphia, the Bible says, you are a faithful one. I'll make people, the church of Philadelphia, Jesus was telling it, it's a, it's a faithful church. I'll make you, I'll make these Jew, people who say they are Christian. These people who are saying they are Christian, these people who call themselves Jews but they worship Satan, I'll make them come near before you. I know I'm your, you are, you are, you are, I'm your God. Do you think the word of God never speak right? The word of God never speak right. The word of God never speak right. It always speak the truth. And Jesus was saying, this church, these people who say they are Christian, but they worship Satan. So what the Bible says is exactly true. There are people, Satan hide in the church. People who call themselves Christian and they are worshiping Satan. They are in the church, but they are worshiping Satan. Read the church of Philadelphia in Revelation chapter 3. The Bible says clearly, these people who say they are Jews, but they worship Satan, I will make them to come kneel down before you and know I'm your God. There's another church who was entertaining Satan worship. I think it's Diatil or another church. Just read the seven churches in Revelation chapter 2 and 3. You see there are some churches, they are true church of God, but they are worshiping Satan and entertaining the gospel of Satan. And entertaining a woman who was, had the power of Satan. They were cutting the branch they were sitting on. This is the message. This is the inspiration. This is the edification. This is the, this is the edification. This is the message. This is the inspiration. Jesus has given me to tell you that you cannot cut a branch you are sitting on and be able to live, to stand. You will fall. The Bible say there's somewhere, they were asking Jesus, are you using the power of Satan to, rem to remove these demons? And Jesus told them, he was saying, the power of Satan or power of Berezabub. Berezabub is Satan. Are you using the power of Satan to remove demons? Jesus told them, how can I remove demons, which are Satan, using the same Satan power? There is no way Satan can use his demons to chase other demons. There is no way I can remove demons and I am using power of Satan. And Satan is a demon. 
and they are using his power of demon to remove demons. I must have another power, different. So, and Jesus told them, any divided house will fall. Marriage is one. You cannot compete in marriage. But certain bring competition. Do you think you can compete in marriage and win? You will fall. That is a satanic bullet. The moment you start competing with your spouse, everybody with his own goal, you want to prove you are the head. There's deputy and the head. You don't want to follow the biblical principle. That house, nobody will win unless you start with God. I job knew who is God. Job wife wanted to be used by Satan. But Job knew his God, he stood his marriage. There is no way a company can bring competition by itself and remain. That's what Jesus was saying. You need to know the truth to be free. You need to know the truth to save your marriage. You need to know the truth to save yourself as a Christian. So that you reach heaven. Remember, Satan to fail you to go to heaven, he just used things that he know. If I fail your marriage, if I fail you in your job, if I change you and put you in a difficult situation, most likely you leave God. The only thing you need to know, Satan can engineer a path that is evil, but if you stand with Jesus, the Bible says, everything worketh together for good for they that love God. While they going to Egypt for Joseph was meant to kill him spiritually, you will never make it to heaven. You'll be a slave forever. But because he stood with God, what happened? God delivered him and made him a prime minister of that country, a leader of that nation. There is no way your marriage can be broken and you stand with God and never made, no, not make it to heaven. You need to know marriage cannot make you to heaven, but it can be used by Satan to fail you. When I make his marriage fail, he'll start drinking, he'll start sleeping with other women, he'll start looking for other husbands to help him, so that they sleep with him to help her. He will leave God because of stress of living without a family. But there's no way you can start with God and be lost. There are so many examples in the Bible. The Bible says in Revelation 12, 11, that we will defeat the devil. We will defeat the devil by the blood of Jesus and the word of the testimony. There are so many testimonies in the Bible we know. Evil root was engineered for De Daniel. But did it win? Yes, it was evil program, but God changed it for good. Joseph was dev devised an evil path. Yes, it was satanic, but God changed it for good. Jesus was engineer evil root, but God changed it for good. There is no way you can stand with Jesus sincerely and you'll be lost. Whether the root was made by the devil, that is the truth we need to know. Because every time the devil attacks your marriage, the devil attacks your job, the devil attacks using your family, he's after your heavenly destiny, not your marriage, not your children, not your wife, not your husband. He can even give you money, super glorious money, but you are going in the wrong side. Like you was telling Jesus, I'll give you this money and you worship me. I'll give you all these riches. How many people are lost? The devil ha does not have to speak clearly like he was talking to Jesus. So always the devil hides. Even when we are speaking to Jesus, he was showing him good things. He was showing Jesus good things. There is no, sometimes if it's, it's yourself, you're thinking in your mind, but it's Satan speaking to you. When Peter was saying, Jesus, you will not die, he didn't know it's Satan. When Judas was kissing Jesus and selling him, that's, he didn't know Satan entered him. The Bible said clearly, Satan's spirit entered Judas, but Judas did not know. When Job's wife was saying, let's cast God, how can God allow us to go through this problem? And he's God, who he, he, he loves us. But Job's wife, did he know Satan? Did Job's wife know Satan had requested them to test their faith? Neither Job or his wife knew Satan requested them from God. The Bible says in Revelation 12, Satan claims to God. He accuses us every day. 
This is not a Christian. Give me Peter and I show you he's not a Christian. Let me test him and you see he's not a Christian. He said, give me Job. I'll show you Job is not a Christian and his wife. His wife, because he didn't know the Bible, the Bible say, my people perish because they don't know. His wife, he was not deep rooted. Most of the time, women are used by the devil because of their weak vessel. Adam, his wife was used. Samson, his wife was used. Job, his wife was used. Because women are so emotional, the Bible says they are weak vessels. They are so volatile. They are so vulnerable. Certain use them. Men are hard to change. They have hard heart. When they call out a call, when you pray for people after a powerful message, 90 99% is women. They are so emotional. They are so weak. They are affected quickly. When you see a man coming in the outer call, maybe there are 10 women, or 9 women and 1 man. Man is serious. Most likely women, they are just there because of emotional. That's why the devil most of the time uses women. The job wife did not know. Job did not know. His wife did not know they have been requested. Give me these people. Satan requests us to test us. But nobody, you have to know, Satan tests us. And he requests us to God every day. He accuses us to God. Revelation 12, 12, I think. Every day he, he, he asks us. Job did not know. His wife did not know. But because Job knew the word of God, he knew who is God. He knew God with clarity. He stood and saved his family. Everything was restored. While he lost everything, everything came back. Because his faithfulness, he kept praising God even when he didn't have, even when it was broken. Michael, uh, sorry, Don Moen sang a song. I think he got it from the book of Isaiah. When the grape produced no fruits, Don Moen gave his testimony and he said, when he was singing this song, he was going through a difficult time. He said in his song, when grape produced no crop, when cow refused to give milk, when, when land refused to give crop produce, when animal refused to give meat, I will worship you. When cow produce no milk, I will say you are God. I will keep worshiping you. Job kept the same spirit. Cow refused to give milk. Crop refused to produce fruits. And crops to produce produce. But his wife, he said in no way, we can worship God again. But Job keeps saying, you are, I will sing. Even when in my darkest hour I will sing. Even in the sorrow and the pain, I will sing. Through the sorrow and pain, I will sing. Even in my darkest hour, I will sing. Yeah, I will sing. Through the sorrow and the pain, I will sing. Message. Coming back to the message. There's no way you can cut the branch you're sitting on and survive. Many people, many people have foreign. When I mean foreign, I mean their spirituality is gone. There's no longer Christianity. The people say, desolate. The devil will make you desolate, dry, without any word. Inhabitable. You are inhabitable. You cannot be inhabited by the Spirit of God. The people say, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. But in the last day, Satan will be making people dry. He used many means possible to make you dry. He can destroy your marriage, for example, to make you dry using yourself and your wife or your relative or your in laws. Another way Satan can make sure, like people go abroad, developed countries, they see we don't need anything anymore. Like Jesus was saying, when you go to those beautiful countries, when you build fine houses, don't forget me. Satan make you dry. He make you see, I'm in developed country. I have a good job. I have a good car. I have a house. And the, the shopping is very cheap in developed country. When you work, it's very easy to afford the shopping. I don't have problem. Fridge is full of food. Why do I need God? Dry. Satan make you dry. There's no way you can cut the blood you're sitting on and make it. Remember, we are here on a mission to worship God. The Bible says, 
in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, 13, we are here for Jesus. We need to work. We need to do tick our daily boxes. But the mission is to worship God. Worship God at work. Worship God in everything you are doing. Uh, bring, bring people to righteousness. Preach the gospel. Take the gospel everywhere. That is the mission. Build the church for the coming of Jesus. How many people, somebody bought bought house today and died? I saw somebody somewhere. I will not say exactly where. He bought house that week. It was a man. He died after buying a new house. He died. Sad.